Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Minecraft manual. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is great to be back. Last episode, we did some work in the nether. We actually found oh, a nether fortress and got quite a few ender pearls as well. So today's episode is going to be all about finding a fortress. A fortress? A stronghold. <laughs> That's what it's called in the overworld. So... We need to find a stronghold in order to get to the end and fight the dragon and that's what i'm going to show you today so obviously it's probably in the title already so let's not worry about keeping you in suspense because that kind of thing don't usually work with this anyway so there are a few ways we can find ourselves a stronghold and some ways involve finding the seed and using the interwebs or other programs or seed mapping programs. And the way we're going to do it for now is actually the intended way in the game. So last episode I mentioned that we got quite a few ender pearls and I've actually killed another enderman literally a minute ago. Hence why we got a grass block. Um, so we got 12 eyes of ender which is why we wanted the ender pearls so ender pearls and you combine that with blaze powder we actually have a few blaze rods spare so we can spare a few we got 30 blaze rods we can I'm not sure how many we need to be honest but I'll convert 8 blaze powder into <laughs> uh, eight blaze rods into 16 blaze powder even and then we can use this blaze powder with the 16 ender pearls we've got combine them in your hand in this crafting bench and we get another 16 eyes of ender so we got 28 now i could actually sacrifice one more because honestly i'm not 100 percent sure how far we're going to have to travel so there we go we've got another eye of ender and we also need 12 in order to get into the end as well. So we should have enough, hopefully. I think what I am going to do, though, is just on the off chance that we come across a few Endermen, I'm going to keep a couple of uh, rods with us. Hopefully we, we should be all right because we're in the overworld. And if I've got a bed on me, then we'll be all right for mobs and stuff. But I'm not 100% sure how fast how far we need to travel even so it might be even worth getting a saddle and a horse right i'm here at my spider farm because it actually took me a while to figure out where i put my saddle and i've got a saddle here uh so yeah i must have found it in the actual uh abandoned mine shafts so let's take a saddle and we're also going to take some horse diamond armor as well so i know there's a horse somewhere <laughs> let's also name tag him as well i know there's a horse around here somewhere but not 100 percent sure where and i just saw another few ender pearls there so that'd be handy awesome great uh so now let's get on the hunt for a horse because i'm fairly certain there's one around us so that didn't take long at all to find a horse because there was pretty much a couple right next to my house so let's go to this guy it doesn't really matter what one let's also have an empty hand uh so this guy is obviously a horse that's spawned naturally so they won't like you straight away you can't just put a saddle on them because if i just right click with my bed for example yeah it just buckles bucks even that's what they call it when a horse does that so what you need to do is with an empty hand on your hotbar you get on the horse and it'll buck you off uh, but all you need to do is just keep doing this until you see hearts and that was actually really quite good <laughs> and then <laughs> You can get on and off him and he won't buck you off. So that's how you get or tame a horse. To actually put a saddle on the horse, you press E for inventory and then you just either shift click or you can actually put the saddle on in this direction here. And then horse armor goes here. So this is it and then it's just moving forward left, right as you would a normal character. And this guy's really fast. Yikes. I know this isn't as fast as they can go, but this is pretty fast for a horse. I mean, let's see what the other gut horse is like. Uh, where has he gone? Here he is. Right, so let's 
take our stuff off him and what we want to do throw that egg oh hello chicken hi and see how fast this guy is so we're going to do the same again keep right clicking until we see heart sometimes he bucks you off faster than others and sometimes it takes longer than others this guy's being a stubborn horse yep are we gonna get hearts nope he's bucked me off again there we go awesome so now we can put our saddle and armor on and this guy's not as fast as the other guy really is he all right let's go to the other guy where is he gone so now we've got our transport sorted out we can actually make a good start on this all right so the way to explain this is that we need to find something called a stronghold in the game which is where we find the portal to the end or the end portal and these little guys the eyes of ender actually point you in the direction of where the end portal is so if we throw one using right click as we would any kind of item it goes in a certain direction that direction is where the end port end portal the end portal will be and you can collect them afterwards so it's saying we need to go this direction so let's throw one again yeah so it's pointing in this direction here so that's what we need to do and you'll see that the game kind of like you see how it kind of like goes up in the air and then falls as an item that doesn't always happen sometimes it does actually uh destroy itself and blow up and you see quite a few cool particles uh so we're more than likely see that soon but a general idea it's basically just to show you a general idea of where to go and we haven't really explored this area that much so we might even come across some interesting structures but a rule of thumb is to probably go like a hundred blocks or so and then throw it and then do the same again rinse and repeat and just make sure that you're going in the direction of the ender ender pal so i have ender even and we can't get up here for whatever reason trees are in the way uh in hindsight i probably should have taken my silk touch with me all right okay so i think this is far enough so let's throw another one and it's going in the same direction so that means that we still need to travel this way quite a bit and it looks like we're coming towards an ocean so yeah uh, let's try our best to get over here before the horsey drowns there we go we got him <laughs> that's another little trick you can do with horses as long as it's not up oh, right okay so we need to go in this direction still uh yeah and we can't go any further than this because it's an ocean obviously so we need to probably tie this guy up and come back for him later so what i'm going to do is the old i didn't even bring a shovel with me the old four by four <laughs> too deep hole <laughs> is what we're going to be doing <laughs> So then what we can do is grab this guy, get him in the hole, and I don't think he can leave like that, but I'm just going to leave him there anyway. And also, probably a good idea to grab the coordinates where he is. And we need to go this way. So I did bring some wood with me so we can make ourselves a boat. There we go, our first boat of the series one of many no doubt and yeah so we need to basically keep going this way and our eye of ender is still there that's good so we're gonna go pos probably another hundred blocks probably about the middle of this ocean from there and then throw another one and see where we land because we might be going back on ourselves this time if that's the case it means that it's probably in an ocean i think it's about right actually so let's throw another one and see where we're going. Right, we still need to go in this direction. All right, so we should be at a decent point now to throw another one and see where we are. Right, so we need to go in this direction now. So we are getting closer to it. I really do like that mountain formation. That looks really cool. <laughs> so it's probably around here somewhere. 
So let's get, whoa, this is awesome. This might be a potential area for bait, for the base, <laughs> which is some kind of an abandoned water structure. I really can't remember the name of them. And there's some laggy kelp around here as well. This didn't spawn in the best situation by the looks of it, but this kelp's probably good to grab regardless. <laughs> I can't remember what these are called. Ocean ruins, I think they're called. And yeah, you can tell by the rotten flesh. Normally they spawn drowned with them, but I don't think there's actually any around here. No, it doesn't look like it. There might, however, be some... Oh, let's press shift. Yeah, there's normally a chest in these, though. What is attacking me? Oh, it's... Okay, we found them. Um... One's got a trident by the looks of it as well, and I don't have my shield on my offhand. There we go. Right, talking about drowned, yeah, we found them. So, <laughs> oh, there's two with tridents. Okay, so as you've noticed, these are drowned. They spawn with or without a trident. So, yeah, they are really dangerous if you're not prepared for them. And he's got my boat as well. Whoa. Yeah. As you can see, they lob a trident at you like mad. So you've got to be really careful. I thought I could hit him then. So what I'm going to do is, as you've seen, I'm j Oh, he killed it for me. Thank you. No. Ow. I need to get food on my hotbar too. Because I'm running out of hearts. Right, I'm running over here. Right, steak, eat. Oh, that was close. Right, he shouldn't have despawned. He should still be here. There he is. That should be... That should have killed him. No. He killed him for me, though. Whoa, no, 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 no. Die. Oh, I hate this. I don't want to die this far away. Did he die? Oh. Well, I suppose it's good and a bad thing. The good thing is he's not a threat anymore. The bad thing is I couldn't get him with my looting sword. So, yeah, because I might, although very, a very low chance, have got an, a trident and you're still there <laughs> anyway let's see what's in here just some coal a fishing rod law free that's a decent fishing rod at least and some oak logs that's pretty much it what was in there so yeah that was a bit eventful and a bit stressful uh i do have my boat somewhere all right, through all that chaos, I've forgotten where we need to go. So let's throw this and we need to go this way. So above these mountains by the looks of it, and we can still grab that at least. That's good. Uh, where did it drop? There it is, right in the corner. <laughs> so I wasn't watching where I was going and fell into a little ravine. We've got to be close now though, surely. Okay, so let's throw another one. One of them actually did expire. I don't even know where that one went either. Um, so it went this way. So we must be close to it. We throw that. Oh, we still need to go this way. And that one dropped as an item. That's good. We are in a gravel hills biome now. That's pretty interesting. At least we can get some gravel here if we need to. Not really a fan of mining gravel though. Whoa, these mountain ranges are quite big. And there's probably the, another ocean. <laughs> or are we just going back on ourselves? That is the question. Anyway, let's throw another one and see where we need to go. Still going this way. So it looks like I've made a few new friends. <laughs> and we've also come across another ocean. So I think we still need to go this way. And we are quite far away. We're like 1,700 blocks away. And we're still needing to travel. I really don't know how far we need to go for this, but it's a bit of a trek. 
Right, so another gravelly mountains and this looks like a cool skyline. Let's chuck another one. We're still going in this direction. <sighs> we must be close now. Oh, a ravine. I feel like I've been here, but I don't think this is the same ravine. Da! We found it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> By chance, we have actually found where we need to be. So you guys might be wondering how I know that it's a stronghold and that would obviously be because of the cracked stone bricks and the mossy stone, mossy stone bricks as well. It looks like this is intersecting with a abandoned mine shaft as well, which is interesting. You can also see it. it's basically a mess of tunnels and stuff and if we throw this it should be it's probably going to go in a direction no it just goes straight up over there basically so this actually points directly to where the nether portal would be so if we keep throwing one up in the air this is actually where the end portal not nether portal even should be uh on this block so it's not always the case but nine times out of ten it is and i think we lost that one as well yeah so we got 25 yeah um but because we know where the actual stronghold is i think we'll be okay with just trying to find it ourselves although i would like to try and just dig straight down and not worry about anything else so i am going to throw another one quickly and that didn't go anywhere by the looks of it or i don't know where it did go if it did it probably went in this direction there it is it went there so i think the end portal is pretty much straight down here hopefully we can find it when we found oh i need to be careful more careful with what i'm doing there we go we found it straight away there it is and there's actually a few mobs in here as well we need to be careful with oh there could be a few mobs in there. i didn't realize there was cobwebs around here oh no that's because there's a mine shaft in there too so one thing that you notice is these silver fish around that is because of a silver fish spawner and you'll notice that my advancements have kind of got a bit skewed up as well so I'm not sure how that happened but it has so we need to find ourselves a way down here I'm just gonna pretty much mine like this so this is <coughs> the end portal and as you've seen we got the advancement I spy this is a new advancement at least, and it is follow an ender, uh, eye of ender. Uh, so that's what we've got. That's what you're supposed to do anyway, but just coming into this area will give you it. And we also need to get rid of these silver fish because we could keep this spawner, but I don't really fancy keeping it around. So I'm gonna get rid of that because they're just annoying. So that's the first step. The second step is to make this area safe. So one thing what we can do is block this area off here. I actually want to have a look at that chest, that's why. And also light this up a tiny bit as well. We could go exploring next time, but for now, I think today's episode has gone on long enough to just go through the basics. So we found ourselves a stronghold. We've also found the nether portal. This is an incomplete end portal at the moment we will fix that in a minute but let's find out what's in here and just some iron and stuff nothing really that useful all right so let's go into the end portal then so this is the end portal this obviously links you to the end and you'll notice that sometimes they already have an eye of ender in them this one has two so we need three six nine twelve eyes of ender in order to activate this and it kind of gives you an indication for new players as to where these go so they basically you basically just right click with your eye of ender on these portals like so and yeah each one of them all like this and then the last one i'm going to leave the last one out because i don't want to activate it in today's episode because we're not really ready for a dragon fight i don't think although to be honest this is the best gear i've got so it wouldn't be the end of the world but i'd like to at least get some stuff sorted out first so 
that's why I'm not going to activate it yet. This was basically just an episode to show you how to find it. And obviously we've got some intruders around here. Is that skeleton it is? Can I get it to kill the creeper? Nope, just blow me up. And silver, no, go away. <laughs> So I think I'm going to actually leave it there for an episode today. We covered quite a bit and now, so you should be able to find one of these now. Next episode, we might do a bit of exploring around here and possibly even fight the dragon. So I might need to do a bit of pre preparation before we do that. But for now, I think I'm going to love you and leave you. So thank you very much for watching. My name is Mighty High. If you like this video, then please click the like button and if you really liked it then click the subscribe button and ding that bell for further uploads i've been mighty high and thank you very much for watching goodbye